Schnadu's asleep again. Oh, can someone else do it? You're the only one who knows the trick. Okay, everybody give me some room. Janice. Yo, Jan, it's a pillow. Very nice. The season premiere of Insecurity coming up on CBC. And Natalie Lashinska joining us now. She, of course, plays Alex Cranston, a uh, spy with NISA? Nisa. Nisa. Yes. Nisa. yes. We How were saying you? that your real name, if you say it, sounds like a spy. In the wonderful name. accent you can totally. do, it sounds like you are, really are a spy, Natalia. Yeah, Bond girl, Natalia Anya Lishinska. <laughs> Oh, go. nice. <laughs> totally. We got the middle name in there and everything. Uh, tell us about Insecurity. I, I saw some of it last year, yeah. and the tone is really different in the second season. Yeah, last year, it's, you know, because you only have 22 minutes on a half-hour show. Yeah. And so last year, we ended up spending a lot of the time uh, setting up the missions, setting up the bad guys yeah. in order for us to be able to take them down. Yeah, because you're solving something in yeah, half an hour. Exactly, which is not a lot of time. And so uh, we didn't get a lot of time to meet the characters and so this year what we're doing is it the missions are still happening in the background but what we're focusing on is what the characters are doing in between taking down the bad guys. And how has the, have that been filming for you and the rest of the cast to it's, get more time it's to really get in touch with your characters and stuff? Yeah I mean it's you know the, the acting is actually more challenging this year because the tone has actually become a bit more grounded we're a bit more like rooted in reality yeah. which is always harder than just mm -hmm. being like, I'm a cartoon character, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and so that's been fun. It's always, a, it's always more fun as an actor to be doing something that's closer to reality. Well, and it's like, uh, um, like I was watching the first episode, and I don't want to blow it for everyone, but, but things happen, and it's sort yeah. of like The Office, you know, because little things and yes. dirty little secrets come yes. out. You guys are all spies, yeah. right? So obviously some secrets are going to get spilled within. Right. And that's part of the fun because it causes chaos. We get WikiLeaked. You get, get WikiLeaked. Wiki yeah. Okay, you brought it up so you can explain a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of spoiler. a spoiler for, uh, <laughs> boom, boom, for what boom. happens and what who had the WikiLeak. We can't tell you who. <laughs> well, what end up, ends up happening is uh, Claude um, comes in wearing sort of a 70s getup. Sort uh, of. A sort complete of, leather well, blazer. Hardcore 70s. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we all sort of, we make some jokes, and the jokes end up sort of uh, getting passed around in emails around NISA. And then we get WikiLeaked, and so those jokes are suddenly, they become international. Yeah. And, and Claude, because we're going through the WikiLeaks looking for something else, which I won't really reveal, um, he comes across this entire email thread that's us making fun of him. and so Which is everybody who works in an office, their worst nightmare. Yeah. That when you have an email, that all of a sudden you yeah. press send to the wrong person, but and it yeah. becomes Reply other all. people's knowledge. Yeah, it becomes international <laughs> yes. WikiLeaks. And right? also, like you know, Remy Girard, who plays Claude, he's so funny. He's an adorable human being. Yeah. Like he's just a Remy bear. You just want to <laughs> hug him all the time, you know. And so there's a really sweet scene when Remy sort of. So Claude He's says hurt. to Alex, like, yeah, but you said that the clothes were nice. And, and Alex yeah. is sort of like, yeah, I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I lied like a carpet. Something tells me that you and the rest of the cast have a very good time filming this yeah, show. Yeah, we do. We're, we're a huge family. I mean, the show has actually been sort of in the works now for four years. Really? And so we've really had a chance to get to know each other. So and well. have you been involved for all four years? Yeah. That? yeah it's, it started off as, as a pilot called The B Team, and, and it's sort of morphed from there. How much fun is that too? I mean, because uh, obviously there's some flexibility with the way you guys are shooting this and, and the choices that you're making as well, but to be part of that whole thing and, and to see it all unfold, it's a fascinating aspect it of your business. It is, yeah, and also the fact that I've been working the with the producers and the writers for this long now, and so the character has become very close to to Natalie, yeah. um, and so that's really fun. Uh, Natalie Lachine. <laughs> Natalia, Anya Lachine. Yeah, so uh, you, see you had a big celebration here in Vancouver mm -hmm. uh, over the weekend. How was it for you? It was amazing. You know, it, I was so impressed with the turnout of the fans. It was raining, it was chilly, and there yeah. were hundreds of Rain people. Rain doesn't this deter is Vancouver. people in Vancouver. <laughs> it's always rainy and chilly here. But I mean, from being from Toronto, I was impressed. People in Toronto, yeah. if it's cold, they'd be like. That's <laughs> always got to be a cool moment too, right? Like when you, I, I know for us, when, when someone says, you know, and comes up and, and says, hey, you know, I really like what you're doing. It's almost unexpected. Like you, you don't quite know how to react. You're like, thanks. Like I always assume nobody knows who I am. Yeah, so it's really nice when you get a chance to meet people, isn't yeah, it? And, and get a feel for what people are enjoying about the show. Yeah, we had a um, me and Aaron Carpluck actually mm -hmm. had a really lovely um, little time on a red carpet, just 
just signing hugging? autographs and well, <laughs> guess no matter where there was some hugging, but yeah. you know, signing autographs and taking pictures with fans and and it's so cool to be able to meet people and and have them genuinely excited about the show because well, yeah. I'm excited about the show. And yeah. so. you guys, as actors, are in your little bubble when you're filming totally. for months on end, and then to know that people actually are out there that enjoy it and love yes, you. Yes, it's so easy to be like, is anyone watching this? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Well, when we saw that first scene, and you said, "Wow, that seems like so long ago. That was July." I know. Uh, that you're filming that scene. And it does, you know, that time stretches. And, yeah. Uh, well, and, you know, it's, it goes so fast. Like, we take four days to shoot one episode, and so it's just like, phew, Really? Yeah. Gone. Into the evening. That's really quick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Four yeah. days. Yeah, and you, so it's, it's eight days for a block, and you t shoot two episodes in a block. So you're sort of, you know, you'll do like a scene from this episode and a scene from this episode. <laughs> so, like, your day is kind of a Frankenstein of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? Yeah. I love yeah, that. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And we want to tell you Insecurity is on Mondays, 8 30 on CBC. Do not miss uh, the new season. It's fantastic. And when you see uh, Aaron Karpleck, your new BFF, mm -hmm. uh, ask her to imitate a dolphin a for dolphin. you. She's she did that on our program it. once, and she is far too good at it. Yeah. And that's why we love her. So Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, thank Appreciate you it. We're going to take a break.